Action. You could say that it really, truly started with Pierre Gustav Bord. Pierre Gustav Bord was introduced to me about a hundred odd years after he was very dead by Olga Mavrogodatu. And that was the beginning, in fact, of, of Paria Publishing. Um, Gustav Bord's book, The History of Trinidad, was in truth our first historical publication. It came about because we had the idea that what we would do with, with Paria is that we would publish out of print historical work uh, because there was a whole generation of people who were growing up who had really no idea about the history of Trinidad and there was no real effort being made by the government of the day to, to perpetuate the, the colonial history and not only the ancient colonial history but the more recent colonial times. So out of this came Paria Publishing and the production of the history of Trinidad under the Spanish government by Gustav Bord. Now this caused quite a stir. The next book to come to hand was, was a piece of work that we did for Professor Dr. Susan Craig, which was contemporary Caribbean. Now, this was our first attempt at doing a real serious textbook, and our real introduction to the, the people who worked at the University of the West Indies. This, this was swiftly followed by Father Devatai, who I met one afternoon in Maraval gas station, who asked me if I, w I would do a book for him that he was just completing, and it was called Years of Revolt. Years of Revolt was a, was a very, very interesting body of work. It still is, it is much referred to, where it deals with a period between 1881 and 1888 in Trinidad when several sectors of the society revolted against the, um, the colonial powers of the day. This was swiftly followed by another little book of Father Devotees which was Gene Smiles and the gas station racket. Of course, he meant Gene Miles. And this is, a, this is a fascinating book. I think it's now quite out of print, you know. Um, it, was, it was written in a sort of almost Calypso style that you might find surprising for, for a priest to attempt, but you have to bear in mind that DV is really a born trini. And then, one of the one of the fellow travelers, Michael Anthony, um, came along with, with an excellent book that, that he called First in Trinidad. And this this little book, First in Trinidad, and, and this is how it looked the first time it, it appeared. This this little book deals with things that happened for the first time in Trinidad, like when, when did the first mule tram run, when did the first telephone ring, when did the first electric light come on. Um, it was a very, very good seller then, and it is a very good seller now. This, this book here was, was really our first commercial venture. It, it came to us because of meeting up with Ronald Harford, who was planning to do a book on the 130th, I think it was, anniversary of Republic Bank. And, and we did this, this fine book, um, closely working with him and with Professor Selwyn Ryan, uh, all overseen by Olga Mavrogodato who made sure that we had all our historical tr truths in good order. The, the High Commissioner for the European Union, Jared Watterson, 
he did a series of drawings of Trinidad buildings and, and homes. And he came to us and, and we did this, this excellent book, This Old House, for Gerald Watterson. And that too was very, very, very popular. Now, around that time, I was doing some work with a relative of mine, Michael Pocock, who lived in England, who was doing a history of the de Bossier family. And as a result of the work and the time and conversations and so, a lady in, in England by the name of Ruby Finlayson sent us her entire collection, well actually it was her father's collection of old photographs and out of that came this gem, a photograph album of Trinidad at, at the turn of the 19th century. Well, I think that this, this book was, was what really launched, launched us in, in, a, in a popular sense because it was, it was quite sought after and it was bought, I think it went into something like four or five editions. And it was that early collection of work that, that really served to generate the interest in Paria Publishing. And this is why 40 years later, it is really a pleasure to be here with you guys showing off and, and telling you how I created this magnificent institution. So, as Bugs Bunny would say, that's all folks. <laughs>